Alright, now before we continue, I just wanted to take a minute to show you guys these awesome photos that I took of the new display cases, featuring some pretty cool post-war Lionel and American Flyer sets, which are really nice, and it's pretty cool to see that the museum is starting to branch out into more scales besides HO. But as you can see, it's a really cool collection, and I don't want to spoil too much, because I'd rather keep the surprise for you guys to go check out whenever you get a chance to visit the museum. But anyway, let's get back to our program. It's pretty neat. Yeah. Wow, we do a big here. Look at this angle over here. What is that? Awesome man, I don't know. It still looks cool though. Reflecting yeah. off the mirror. I think this is. Yeah, it does. It basically gives you a, an illusion that there's more stuff over there. Yeah, it does. Hmm. I mean, that's technically not an original trick. They they always use that for like decades when it comes to models or whatever. It's a decade old trick, I guess in tech. That nice looking DNO over there. Yeah. So once again, it's really nice to see that they got more engines running simultaneously.
So here we have the original founder of Lower Plants, Bruce Williams. And again, if you guys want to read the full article here, make sure to pause the video. So I don't want, I don't want you all to miss out on a really great story here. But as you can see at the bottom, it says the land was purchased around 1990. Built, building um, construction of the layout was in 1992 for two years. An exhibit was finally finished around 1996, which was a year after I was born, surprisingly. Hold the camera right here because I can definitely see something coming by. Looks like we got some kind of stadium back there. Some more buildings. You have this really nice looking uh, replica of the Hellgate Bridge, I want to say. Even though technically it might not be the Hellgate Bridge. Very cool how they actually put in these little porthole windows so that way you can get a, a good shot of the layout. Got a nice little castle here. nice looking lift bridge they have on display here. Wonder if it actually works or not. Oh, guess not. Oh well. Looks like they added some Star Wars stuff over here. Nice little touch of the 
nostalgia that they have. Looks like this uh, display here is based off of um, Star Wars A New Hope during the final battle on the Death Star. You also have some Return of the Jedi nostalgia on the bottom here. fan art, you got a little animation going on here. So we're getting close to the exit here. It's no skin line on 1660E. I think that's what the number is. Yeah, it's basically some like dolls and stuff, but we're not here to look at that look at that We're mostly just here to look at trains so That part of the layout's can, you know, be done. All right, last we have the control panel here. As you can see, there's a lot of activity going on. Yeah, yeah, all three buttons hit the door. Pretty neat. Too bad they don't have anything up, up on the um, roller coasters here. It's pretty new. Never seen this before either.
right over here we have the oil wells here as well as the Marks um, crane which is of course not operated it's really neat really got a lot of nice stuff here they really do let's get a better shot there we go uh, as you can see, just like with the other part of the layout, there's a mirror in the back, which gives the illusion of more trains, which means a lot more activity going on here. Let's get one last shot here, and then we'll go out to the beach. Go out to the um, gift shop and purchase a couple of items. We hope you enjoy the work of your girlfriends, and that one day you may return. On your way out, make sure to check out the gift shop and snack bar. Also, we have a wonderful outdoor train ride that takes you through the woods and along the river. Please see the front counter for the schedule. Watch us grow and expand. Alright, so we're back in the main lobby here, and we're basically looking around at where the display case is here, and the gift shop as well, and I purchased a couple of items. So now we're just going to take a few minutes and go get some lunch, and then we'll head back to my place and we'll talk about um, the experience that we had here. Okay, so we're back from Northlands here, and as you can tell, we're actually in my new place here. But anyway, let's go ahead and open up the uh, bag here, and I'll show you guys what I've purchased. So as you can see, it's I have two new sections of Lionel Fast Track, which I really needed, because I had a couple of other sections on my old layout, which have kind of seen better days, and the, the, um, the plastic mold was starting to get all, you know, worn down, because they, there was a lot of play value with it. But... This track, these two track sections were actually pretty cheap. They were only five bucks a piece, and I don't know if you guys can see that well, but there's a little bit of rust on here, which is um, which should be pretty easy to 
clean off. That will only take like a day or two to get rid of. And with this one, not so much when it comes to the rust. This one's actually in much better shape than this one that I have here. And then as for the sides, there's a little bit of a, um, there's some, I don't know what that is, some kind of like grease or something. And it's a little bit more, there's a lot more grease on this side than there is the other side, but that should, that should also be easy, pretty easy to clean as well. So anyway, hopefully the next video that I do, I will be showing you guys how to de-rust these rails here. It's actually pretty easy to do. And I'll also be showing you guys how I get rid of all this grease on the side of the track sections as well. So let's go ahead and I'll show, I'll share with you guys my final thoughts on Northland. So we'll wrap up the video from there. All right, so we're getting pretty close to the end of the video here. So as for my final verdict, it's been a really great, um, it's been a really great experience going there one last time with my partner Darren. He mentions that he may not be a huge model railroader, but he really enjoyed the experience there. And as for me, I thought it was a really great, um, it was a really great pleasure going there one last time, and I'm really gonna miss it. And if you guys are into HO, you're gonna like it over there. But if you really like other scales like O gauge and G gauge, you're gonna like it even more. They got some really cool new displays featuring some Lionels and a lot more gauges. And they also have a couple of new layouts there as well. So I think you're going to enjoy the trip up there. And as you can tell, we're actually in my new house, believe it or not. And a little bit more on that um, in my next video. But anyhow, I hope you guys have enjoyed watching this um, two-part video series I made of the Northlands um, train exhibit. So thank you all for watching. Please like, comment, and subscribe to my channel. Don't forget to hit the notification bell down below for any other projects that I upload. And if you guys want to follow me on other types of social media, you can follow me at RailChief74 at Instagram.com, as well as RailChief74 at TikTok as well. But anyway, that's it for today's episode. Thank you all for watching, and I'll see you all next time. Take care.